Hi friends, this is the uh, our third lecture about the anatomy of the uh, cardiovascular system and here today we are going to discuss about the branches of the common uh, external carotid artery and what are the branches and what are the function of these branches and where, where, what are those parts which are provided blood supply by the branches uh, originating from the external carotid artery. So first we know that the common the aorta uh, give rise to, to a common carotid artery and this common carotid artery at the sinus it will divide it and bifurcate it into two there is internal and external carotid arteries and uh, we have discussed about the branches of the internal carotid arteries now we are going to discuss about the branches and uh, originating from the external carotid arteries so first of all if you look that this is our brain our head and these are the branches and this is the external carotid artery the external carotid artery mainly uh, mainly uh, provide blood supply to the neck region including the organs present or uh, present at the neck region that is the thyroid gland the uh, phar pharyngeal uh, pharynges and the uh, what we call it the part of the facial, the maxilla, mandible and the eyes. So he, these are the branches which are moving uh, toward the face, the facial side and away from the external carotid artery. So this is the main branch that is external carotid artery and these are the branches which are providing blood supply to the facial region for example to the facial region to the annular region to the maxillary region to the thyroid region and so on all, all the organs present uh, or the at the uh, region of the head and neck so we will discuss about the branches in detail for example For this purpose the first branch which originated from the base of the external carotid artery is superior thyroid arteries this is superior superior thyroid artery so as the name suggests, suggested that this artery originating from the external carotid artery and providing blood supply to the superior that is upper surface of the thyroid gland. So they are called as superior thyroid arteries and this artery further divided into uh, two branches. So we will not discuss here. We will only discuss about the superior thyroid artery which provided blood supply to the thyroid glands and a few part of the other uh, organs present our neck so this is the external carotid artery so this is the first branch and after this the second branch is what we call here that is ascending pharyngeal artery ascending pharyngeal Pharyngeal artery. This artery also provided blood supply to the pharynx, pharyngeal region of our neck. If we move upward, then another branch originated from the external carotid artery. That is the facial artery or the lingual arteries. Lingual artery as this name suggests it lingual mean tongue so this is the artery and this is the branch of the external carotid artery which provide blood supply to the tongue region and the another artery the facial artery facial artery facial artery provided blood supply to the skin region and to the buccal region 
of the uh, face so it's mainly provided blood supply to the facial region so it is called as facial artery is the name suggest and another group of the artery which is mainly originating from the this is for, for suppose this is the back side this is the front side of our brain our head so this is the facial this it will be the facial side and it will the uh, will be the back side of this suppose here is our neck here is our hair uh, our head that is the facial side so it, this will be the back portion of the head and here what present here present the head and the mainly the occipital in the temporal superficial temporal region so these are the arteries which providing blood supply mainly to the uh, occipital and the uh, superficial temporal region so this is the facial side and this is the back side which including the head that is the end base base of the head so it will be the artery which provides blood supply to the occipital region so it is called occipital artery oxy Peter artery so it is called occipital artery and above this another artery which is called is posterior auricular artery posterior auricular auricular artery so this is the posterior auricular artery and above which there are two terminal arteries that terminates the external carotid artery into the upper region of our head that is this is this artery is called superficial temporal arteries that is superficial superficial temporal artery Temporal artery. So, as the name suggests, it it provided the superficial, that is the uh, lateral uh, region of the temporal bone. So, the arteries here mainly provided blood supply to the facial region and the back region of our head superficially. So, and another group of the artery, which is also a term terminating artery or the finishing artery that is the superficial terminal uh, temporal artery and the another artery that is maxillary artery this is called as maxillary artery maxillary artery so as the name suggests maxilla so it provided blood supply to the maxillary region of our face there is the uh, maxilla mainly including the our uh, uh, upper side of uh, portion uh, which mainly including the palatine region and the soft plates the hard plates and it also including the, our teeth and the uh, allular region of our teeth so these are the whole arteries providing blood supply to the facial region and also to the a back back side of our head so these are the branches of the oxygen these are the branches of the external carotid arteries so uh, i made a in, made a mnemonics for you people so you can easily understand the branches of the uh, external carotid artery so i will make it here this this is the for example thyroid gland so it is the superior thyroid artery lingual artery provides the tongue tongue region facial artery it provided the face maxillary artery provided to the upper side of maxilla these are the teeth suppose and the temporal artery provided the temporal auricular artery also provided to the ear region including the inner ear so we can say that uh, for the convenience i made a here 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 so uh, this is the uh, auricular artery posterior auricular artery this provides to the back region of our head so it is called as occipital artery and it's are provided blood supply to the temporal region so they are called superficial temporal artery maxillary artery so all are the things which will be uh, very easy to understand if we 
uh, if you remember that the external arteries have uh, originated uh, to the external side of the disc and not so internally uh, like the internal carotid artery which uh, migrate towards the brain with the help of the um, foramens present in the vertebra so they uh, move a little bit deep into the into the neck so these are the arteries which is not deep uh, present deep into the uh, into the neck so they are superficially present so they are called external uh, carotid arteries and provided uh, many many arteries uh, to the facial region facial region so this uh, is the whole about the external uh, external carotid arteries so i will made a mnemonics so you can easily remember it so the mnemonics will be mnemonics will be sulfo Sulfo points points me. She thought. She. T H O U G H T thought. So from here we can derive that. Sulfo mean S mean superficial thyroid artery. This will be superficial superficial thyroid artery. Superficial thyroid artery. And A represents Ascending, ascending pharyngeal arteries, pharyngeal arteries. L represent for lingual arteries, lingual arteries. F for facial arteries. facial artery O for occipital artery occipital artery P for posterior auricular artery posterior auricular artery and M for simple maxillary artery maxillary artery C that is S for superficial temporal artery superficial temporal artery and T for the last uh, another type of branch that is called transverse facial artery so I have not discussed it uh, in uh, the, this lecture so it is not so necessary we have to just remember the two terminal branches of the external carotid artery that is one is the maxillary artery and the other is the superior temporal artery so this is the whole thing about the external carotid arteries we will discuss here so sulfo points me she thought so you have to remember this, this mnemonics so you can easily remember all these things. So thank you for watching my videos.